Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over how to measure the acceleration of an object down a slope. Now, this experiment was one you would have done at National 5 level, so you should be familiar with it. Let's get started. Okay, so measuring the acceleration of an object down a slope is one of the compulsory experiments that the SQA say you have to be able to do and that you have to be able to describe for the exam. So we're going to look through a sort of scientific report layout with the aim, method, results and so on, just to give you an overview of how you would actually do this experiment and take results. So the aim, first of all, is to determine the acceleration of a trolley moving down a slope. So you should have done this at National 5 level. I should point out as well that for the method we're about to do, there are other methods methods available, there are other ways of doing this experiment, but I'm only going to take you through one way of measuring the acceleration. You might have done it differently in class however. So the method that I've chosen says to collect a trolley with double masks, so that's this thing here. So that's the trolley and that's our double masks. So a mask is just a bit of card cut out on top of a trolley. And we also need a ramp, this thing here, a pile of books to prop up the ramp, a light gate over here, a clamp stand to hold the light gate, we've not shown that in the picture, and a computer timer, so this thing over here, you might use a TSA timer in class, and a ruler as well to measure the length of the masks on the trolley. You then want to set up your apparatus as shown in the picture. So notice that we're only using one light gate in this one because we've got a double mask. And looking at the steps for the method, it says first of all, measure the lengths of the two masks, the cards, using a ruler and then put these to the computer or the timer and usually the timer or the computer whatever you're using if it's a TSA timer should allow you to input your lens of the mask into it. The computer or timer then measures the time taken between the first mask intercepting the light gate and the second mask intercepting the light gate. It then says that the initial and final velocities of the trolley can be calculated from these measurements. So what happens is when you let the trolley go down the ramp, so the timer measures how much time it takes this front mask to pass through the whole light gate and then it also measures the time taken for the mask at the back to pass through the light gate as well. So those two separate times are going to give us our initial and our final velocities. It then says finally the acceleration of the trolley can be calculated using A equals V minus U over T. Now the T here is the time taken for the whole mask to pass through the light gate. So that means from the front of this mask to the back of this mask passing through the light gate. That is going to be your total time T. And when you plug in your numbers from the timer into this equation, you should get an answer for your acceleration. So here's an example of some results that you might get. So the length of the first card is three centimeters and the length of the second card or mask is three centimeters as well. Both masks or both cards are usually going to be the same width if you're using a double mask. And examples from the timer here, we've got initial velocity of 1.04 meters per second, final velocity of 1.12 meters per second, and a time of 0.0651 seconds. Now when you put all that into your equation here, you get 1.12 minus 1.04 divided by your time of 0.0651, which gives us an acceleration of 1.23 meters per second squared. So that's an example of how you would measure the acceleration of a trolley down a ramp. And as a brief conclusion, it says here that the acceleration of the moving trolley in this example was found to be 1.23 meters per second squared. Now remember that I've only shown you one way of doing this, but you might be doing a different way in class. So it says here, acceleration can also be measured using a trolley with a single mask and two light gates. So what we used in this example was a double mask and a single light gate, but it can also be done using a single mask and two light gates instead. Now I should also point out that the timer or computer that you're using to input your data may also have the setting or the option to allow you to simply just measure your acceleration without having to actually put numbers into the formula. So that's actually a quicker way of measuring the acceleration of an object down a slope. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.